Either everybody's sleeping on this shoe or they just hate it. To me, I think these things are dope. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Neapolitan Air Jordan 11's women's exclusive colorway. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! Now before we get to breaking down all the styles, cuts, and material of this shoe, you know we gotta go over the history first. Everyone remembers the iconic years of Michael Jordan playing in the NBA. Shortly after that, that shoe was considered to be one of the greatest sneakers of all time. Over the years, we have seen a ton of different iterations, whether it's low tops, IEs, or even the high tops with multiple different colorways. But the original four that we all remember are the Columbias, the Space Jams, the Playoffs, and the Concords. And I'm sure most of you know, over the past 10 plus years, 15 years at this point we have seen air jordan 11s come out every single holiday season in a men's colorway and recently over the past five to seven years we've seen women's colorways as well taking it back to 2016 we saw the velvet air jordan 11s and this was considered to be an extended use size but made kind of for women as well and everybody was kind of interested in this and how they were doing the extended sizes because we saw up to like a 10Y. Normally youth sneakers go up to a 7Y, so this was definitely a different switch up and something a lot of people were interested in. Following that in 2017, during the holiday season, we saw the Stingray, which I considered to be like an OVO Air Jordan 11, and that was in that same thing. It was extended youth sizes. And then in 2018, we saw the Natural Olive colorway, which honestly, I am not a fan of, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because it wasn't made for me. But those came out in women's sizing, and that's where we saw the floodgates started to open. We saw another switch up with the white metallic silvers, which I thought those were pretty solid. And in 2020, you guys can let me know in the comment section. I don't remember them dropping a women's release. I think it was because of COVID, things kind of got pushed back. Let me know down below in the comment section if there was a release that year. And continuing on, in 2021, we saw the Animal Instinct 11s. A lot of people wanted them to be kind of murdered out, so they were customizing the shoe. They didn't want the animal print around the front end. Either way, another women's release. And then last year in 2022, we saw the Midnight Navy in the velvet. So we saw the red velvet way back and then we saw the blue velvet come back again. And honestly, I was a fan of that shoe, but again, I couldn't get it because they don't make them in my size. So now in 2023, we have the Neapolitan iteration right here. And we also seen the Air Jordan 3 in the Neapolitan colorway last year in 2022. So it starts to make me wonder, are they gonna start doing the Neapolitan colorway and other models as well? What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. Now, when it comes to this colorway in particular, I like the switch up. I'm not mad at this. It's a lot more simple, a lot more clean and they've done some crazy things on the Air Jordan 11s that I think were kind of disrespectful to the model, but again, to each his own. Let me know what you guys think. To me, out of the women's releases, these are up there when it comes to the colorway. So now that you guys know a little bit more about the shoe and how it came about and the ones before it, let's go ahead and take it to the studio so we can really break these things down. Now looking at the box right here, you can see you definitely have a major switch up when it comes to your classic OG nostalgic Air Jordan 11 boxes or some of the switch ups like we've seen in the past where they have the different types of flip open boxes or the pull out sleeves or different and things like that. When it comes to these ones, it's a little bit more simple. You just got your classic hinge box. Now this right here is gonna be an all over satin white box. And then you have a metallic gold Jumpman in the center of the box. All over branding, just simple, white and clean. On the front end right here, you have a 23 in the metallic gold. And then on the size tag, it says, Women's Air Jordan 11 Retro Sale Velvet Brown Atmosphere. Size 10, just for my mom. And retail on these was $225. Now lifting open the lid of the box right here, you have your all over print with the 20 three branding in the gold as well and then peeling back the paper you got the shoe oh you got the shoe now when it comes to first impressions of this sneaker honestly i really really like these like i truly wish they made these in my size but I'm happy that my mom was able to still get these. I'm not sure if my wife likes them. I'm gonna have to see what she thinks later in the video. But overall, initial impressions, I definitely think this is a really clean shoe. And like I said earlier, when it comes to the women's releases, this is definitely one of the top releases in my opinion because I like the simplicity behind these. Now, like typical fashion on this channel, you know we start with the bottom of the shoe and work our way up, breaking down all the styles, cuts, materials, and details. So looking at the outsole right here, you got your classic Air Jordan 11 bottom. You got your hair and bone traction in the middle of the pods on the back and the front end, and you have your carbon fiber plank right here in the center of the foot the jump man in the center of that and an all over translucent outsole with the atmosphere colorway now wrapping up to the midsole you got your classic air jordan 11 midsole with the fine line material and then onto the upper you have a mixture of a couple different materials like we typically see on the air jordan 11. Sorry to interrupt, I just wanted to let you guys know we're gonna be giving away some Black Cat Air Jordan 4s. The link will be down below in the description. This is gonna be a part of the Black Friday launch. So stay tuned for that. If you want early access, make sure you guys sign up for the email list and that'll give you guys all the notifications that you need to be in the raffle. All right, let's get back to this review. 
Now, like I was talking about earlier, the patent leather wrapping around the entire foot is actually brown and not black. It does look a little bit different in certain lighting, so you can tell, but hopefully you guys can see that here in the video. I like it. I think it's something subtle, something clean, and a nice little switch up, especially for a women's colorway as well. Now, fill in the sail leather right here on the back end or around the side area. It's smooth. It's buttery. It feels pretty good. It's not the best ever, but what I can say is when it comes to the women's releases, they definitely do come correct and I am not mad at the materials on these. Now, one thing that is a little bit interesting to me, I feel like the 23 is like a little bit more like skinny. Like I feel like it's more prominent on the men's releases. Maybe I'm tripping, but it does look a little bit more faint. And then the Jumpman right here, Stitch classic branding right there. But one thing that I did notice is the rope laces. They're a lot more skinny and they actually feel a little bit more stretchy as well when it comes to this. That might make it a little bit more easy to wear or a little bit more comfortable or just sliding the shoe on because it is a little bit more stretchy when it comes to the lace again i'm not sure i can't fit them so i don't know now just behind that you have a smooth leather all throughout the tongue and then you have your jordan branding right here in the center of the tongue as well and that's going to be with the brown text and jump man and then behind the tongue you have your classic quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever all white or sail color whatever you like to say and then you have that same thing right there with the brown stitch it might be brown it might be black i don't know let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section now looking at the sock liner you got that same material just like behind the tongue matching with the upper and then onto the insole all black with the white jump man and like i said earlier one thing that i really love about this shoe it's very straightforward and you guys have heard me say it plenty of times over and over again the concord color blocking you can take that exact same color blocking and switch the color, do any color of the rainbow, and it'll look dope on the shoe. So for me, I think that's why they look dope. And I think you could, again, blue, green, yellow, you name it, purple, it will look dope no matter what. That's just kind of how I feel. And the same thing for Jordan 3s, Jordan 4s, Jordan 6s, you name it. Take the classic iconic color blocking and then just switch the color on the rainbow and you can easily make an entire palette and, so, and release, you know, one a year, create a collection out of it. So for me, again, I love it. I think it's a dope addition and a nice little switch up and obviously aligning with the Neapolitan 3s, which makes me think, hey, are they gonna do like a Neapolitan 5 or a Neapolitan 4? Or who knows what the next model might be? So obviously you guys know that I like the shoe, but I'm interested to see what everybody else thinks about the shoe because when it comes to women's releases, it could be a dope shoe like this, and next thing you know, the thing is already sitting at outlets a week later, or you can find it on any website or any store and just walk in and get a pair. Now granted, maybe every size isn't available, but one thing that I can say is, when it comes to the past women's Air Jordan releases, They've been pretty easy to cop for the most part, depending on the shoe size. Obviously that is a factor or the city, but for the most part, I could say that they never really sell out. So before we check the poll results, like I always post on my Instagram, I wanna see what my wife thinks about these and then we'll be right back. All right, rate this shoe out of 10. Let me know if it's a cop or a drop. It's a women's release exclusive. I don't, they don't make it in my size. I personally like them. A five? Yeah. Why a five? Um, I don't like the bottoms. I don't like this color. I don't like this tone. I think it's weird. <laughs> okay, what about the like the patent leather, like the brown? This is a switch up. You know, I wouldn't have noticed that this is brown. I definitely thought this was black looking at it. So I'm glad that you said that. And I I see what they're trying to do now with the pink and brown, because like that's a thing right Neapolitan now. Neapolitan is the colorway. Oh, okay, that's kind of cute, but this is still the wrong pink. <laughs> like, it needs to be, like, like a hotter pink. You okay. know, like this. Okay. Ew. So it's a pass? Yeah, honestly, like... That's I, why I didn't get them for you. I'm glad that you didn't, because me rating it a five was being generous. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Very interesting take, and I think it makes sense, because I understand what she likes to wear, so I get it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Now, typically on my Instagram, I post the same type of poll asking the people the simple question. Is this shoe fire or is this shoe trash? I post the results here on the channel and that way you guys can see all the results that everybody thinks. So if you haven't already, make sure you guys follow me on IG so you can participate in the poll and see the results here. This is what the people said. 64% of the people said fire and 36% of the people said trash. I think that's really low. Like. Come on, like, I feel like these things are so nice. They did a really good job when it comes to materials. A little bit different switch up. I get it with the brown, but like, 
I think these are solid, especially when it comes to the previous women's releases. Like I said, like these are up there in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to see any other reviews or learn more about sneakers, this is the place to be. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I'll see you on another one. I'm out. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Listen, my DNA, hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware to do. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in